Okay. Are we good now? Hello? All right, continuing on. So, this is going to be a VOD review of Peterbot and Pollo in round three, getting 43 kills. I want to see how they did it, what they did, all that stuff. Let's break it down. Because, I mean, I've been talking about uploading replays for a long time. I'm probably going to upload this one raw because, like, I don't... Maybe, maybe we'll edit a little bit. But anyway, moving on. So, we're just going to go through it and see what we can do in terms of reviewing. So, Peterbot and Pollo are landing uh, at Fencing Fields. Now, they're just W King, so they, they don't play for endgame really at all. Um, and on average, top 250 teams, they're going to be better than most of them. Instantly, Peterbot grabs a gun and then instantly kills the shotgun um, AI for a shotgun. This guy lands late in between uh, Peterbot and Pollo, but now this works specifically because they landed very close to each other. Um, if they decide to land like a little split, like one was looting this side and one was looting this side, this wouldn't work as well. I mean, I think he could solo him anyway, but you get the idea. That could go wrong if they're not together and they play together, so it can't go wrong. You know? And instantly they take out the bot. It's not too hard in uh, duos to take out the bot. As long as no one else is keying you. And it also helps when they get the refresh. When they get the refresh, they get those mats. That 150 mats, 15 builds is really good, especially since some of their metal, some are brick. Because if they have no refresh here, then they have to farm it up. Uh, but since they have the refresh, they can go straight to the vault. And I mean, they're stacked now. Purple pump, purple pump, uh, mythic scar, and a triple burst, and a lot of heals. Grappler, and they're just going to run around and start fighting people. And they're looking for a fight right here. So 25 builds on Peter. Uh, Poyo's not even <laughs> there yet, but Peter Bot doesn't care. This team's kind of stacked, actually. They got some decent mats. Uh, this guy doesn't. But he has no idea Peter Bot's on his head. Holy. So, I don't know. I want to back go back and watch this really quick. Let's go, zombie. How does he make this so seamless? I don't understand. Is it because he jumped? Wait, hold on. I want to see what he's doing specifically with his crash pad. So, he jumps and it just sends him. And then does it again and sends them. Sometimes I get messed up with that. And I think it's because of flow berries. Uh, I'd love to test that again. But basically he's just jumping and, and throwing the crash under him. I don't I don't understand how it works so well for him though. I don't get it. Sorry, I misclicked. Moving on. So he gets on their head. And he's already done a ton of damage. Crazy tracking. The player ends up losing. Dude, I don't understand how he does it so well. What a go. A lot of health. Jumping on his head, pumping him, spraying him as he's running away. Opening the walls. Now Poyo's here and they can double him. It actually puts up a decent fight for a second. Never mind. And then Poyo's already on the on the teammate. He did run out of mats, but it's fine. Uh, Peter Bot's already done so much damage. That's three kills of 43. There's still 40 more kills in this game. X2 Turner and Merc. Now, how, what the? Poyo triple bursts him. Now, these guys are not stacked at all. They have nothing. Um, Peterbot has six builds. He's just trying to get in. Great. I love how he jumps to the left. It makes the uh, the peak a lot harder for this guy. He is full box. Wow, what? That's crazy. He's full box, but he's playing the angles so well. And I think it's also just pure confidence. When you have that much A new team has shown up. I was going to 1v2. I think Poyo already killed the other kid. Peterbot's taking the 1v2. He has the medallion, so he probably has an easier time of doing that. Instantly spraying on their wall. Takes their wall in their face. Perfect right hand peek. One of them runs. He knows which one's low. He's trying to get the finish. So it becomes a 1v2. He does get the finish. Poyo, Poyo gets a shot on the side. And this guy's trying to run, but I don't, I don't think he can. There's no way. Oh. Okay, well, I mean, you know, and he comes back. I love that. He's holding the wall and rezzing at the same time. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, now Peter Bot's zero ping. I forgot, I think. Um, and then he comes back and just gets 1v2. <laughs> Whoopsies. 
Now it's seven kills. Now, if all the teams are just like that. Now, a lot of teams are playing placement. So if you're playing aggressive and you're both like some of the best fighters on the on the region, which, which Peter Pot and Poyo are, taking really good angles, taking really good pinches, spraying, everything. Nice. That was so good. And it was natural. I, I'm not even really sure how they, they coordinated that. Uh, Poyo set up for a shot on the team, the kid on the right. And then this guy tried to push out to Peter Bot. And the way he pushed out, Poyo noticed it and, and took the wall from him. And now, now they can just double him. That's crazy. One from below and one in front. And now it's a 1v2 again. They're really, really, really good at pinching, creating 1v2s. And I mean, it looks like Peter Bot just jumped in and 50 50 him and killed him. And that that was the medallion team. Wow. Wow. Okay. They now have nine kills. First zone hasn't even closed yet. There's not a single chance this team can do anything about it unless they go aggressive. Now, this guy is jumping in, but I bet you Peter Bot's going to block him. And, and Poyo actually goes for the 50-50. So this is looking kind of funny. This is a team that um, isn't better than, than Peter Bot and Poyo, probably, but is actually matching their aggression. I'd love to see how this works. So, I mean, they're just taking their ones right now. Peter Bot almost gets some crazy piece. Oh my God, this kid is crazy. Just playing so aggressive, pre-piecing the entire way, spraying through. And then that's actually when the teammate comes over to Peter Bot and is trying to group up. And it gives Poyo a bunch of room to kind of decide what to do. And they just create another pinch here. Keeping pressure up, literally never stopping from spraying. And that's so... What I love about this duo is that they don't skip a beat when there's a moment to 1v2. Every single time. So in this moment, Peter Bot could take his one. But he he's just waiting. He notices one kid drops and another one didn't group with him. So they're split for just a moment. But that moment is enough for Peterbot and Poyo to notice the split and jump on him. And now it's a 1v2. So he, they're just going to keep getting in. Because this player has to heal for them to fight. And they have medallions. They have double medallion. They have double mythic. And they have the best loot in the game. These teams actually fighting. This is crazy. But it gets a good beam in the bottom side. And just keeps pressure up. And now it's 1v2. Oh my. Oh no, YouTube Jacoby. Oh no. Leave them alone. Oh, dude. This is so good. Wow. And they're probably going to keep their cash now. They're going to look for anybody who's uh, playing safe. Wow, this is crazy. Uh, again, another great pinch. I mean, just having such confidence and pinching ability. And it seems to be that's what's going to be the whole game. And then they get the one due to the pinch. And now Poyo is doing a 1v2 or a 1v1 just on height. And here comes the pinch. Yeah, he's not even looking at Poyo and Peter Bot just blocks the shot. Go right next for the tier one for 11 months. Let's go. Appreciate you. Now they're fighting in zone here, but they have double triple med kits. I don't know if I can do this uh, angle at all. I won't do it. Oh my gosh. And they just run to those kids. That's insane. This team trying to get a cash right now. One tries to run. That was a mistake. One of the things that you should really try to do whenever you get against a team like uh, Peter Bot and Poyo, it's, it's pretty hard to, but you want to make a lot of space. 
which this team actually is doing. So I'm wondering what, what will they do? I mean, they're going to start spraying and replacing. I love the replacement or like the repositioning from Peter bot where he runs over because he realizes there's so many layers between him and the enemies that he really can't do very much. He's keeping the pressure up, not letting this team heal. This guy still hasn't healed. While well, Peterbot is fully health now. Fully healed. Full health. Combine the two together. Peterbot sees the fresh builds and he's starting to pinch again. They're running low on mats, but uh, as long as they finish this fight soon, it doesn't matter. And um, one of the players tried to run up to Poyo in a peak. Gets one pumped. And now Peterbot's getting in. Ooh, they actually almost... Whoa! This guy turned it back. Wait, what? Who, who shot him? Who was Kaz? This is weird. What am I doing? Is that the uh, the teammate they, they're playing against? I don't think it was, was it? It must have been. You can't see his name. Oh, it is Kaz. Okay. So we got a high ground peak. Coming over the angle. Now, the only difference is... Is, is Peterbot's gonna... Poyo's gonna get the res on Peterbot. Most likely. Oh my god. The high ground piece... It's just not fair. He has a medallion, so this entire fight on the back foot. And they still didn't get the res. They're trying to. My gosh. 19 kills. I want to see the end game. That's what I'm really excited about. Again, setting up pinches, going for pieces. It's just textbook at this point. Not even sure what else there is to say. They're doing the same thing over and over. They set themselves up on multiple sides. They start spraying, they start replacing. The amount of pressure they put out is insane. And most of these teams seem to be playing really, really, really scared for some reason. And now we're getting an end game. This is what I really want to see. How do they continue to set up fights perfectly in end game? This team's already running. They find another team boxed up on a rift. They rift. And they chase them. This is so mean. <laughs> what do you do? He said, go back to the rift. And they land on another rift. And they said, you know what? We don't need to fight them. We'll fight these guys. Oh, they rifted too. Everyone's rifting. We'll speed this up until they finally land on someone. Oh, they're going to land on this team for sure. Okay, so we're in the middle of endgame, making a quick box around you. Instantly spraying, putting pressure down. They're running, and they tried to grapple. Wow. But oh, Peterbot is styling on the entire lobby while edit coursing through. Wow. And since um, this other guy was getting sprayed by the entire lobby, Poyo just kind of slides in and gets the big pump. And they're on to the next team. So they go up to high ground. Now, Peter Bot's actually 1 HP. But he's got the floppers. He's got the medallion. He's fine. If this team decides to key him, that would be a mistake. And I'm wondering if they even try. They don't. They give up, even though they did max damage to him. And they're already on their head. Oh, no. The bleed through with the mythic. <laughs> Another. This isn't even the same team. They're just going in. <laughs> you zip line on accident. Um, and so the cool thing I, that I'm noticing with, with end game is usually like mid game fights. What they're doing is they're pinching with each other. But now in end game fights, they're using the rest of the lobby to pinch. So if you look from this angle, they're coming from the side where there's less players. There's like three players on this side. But on this side, there's, a, there's like six teams kind of chilling. So they come from the opposite side of those six teams and start spraying. Oh, and there's an edit down, but it doesn't matter they're together. And once the fight's over, most teams don't spray because you can kind of just hold. So that's the thing that they do. They do separate now. Or like the difference. And this kid just lands. Poyo just jumps in. They're at 27 kills. They get another crack. They start running. In. <laughs> what am I watching? Oh, man. This is so mean. Oh, okay, but they are messing up the fundamental of using the rest of the map right there to try and hold them off. So, but Peterbot does get a kill. 
while we weren't watching that. So, and this is this is kind of where it gets mean, is that they will eliminate one team and have the mats and loot from that team a box away. They'll fight a team. If they do poorly with that fight, they go right back to the mats they had before. Um, and just reloot. They used all their mats. And I wonder if they'll do it this time. We'll see. So they double break and, and actually uh, Peterbot gets a big pump. Whoa, this, this guy wasn't paying any attention. Just gets fully sprayed by the mythic. And now there's a bot of, uh, box of loots for them. And now he's on a wall because he, he sees this guy hat potting. Um, so he's using his health advantage to try and push in. He fakes the, the wall break to get in. Now this guy's not too bad actually. So Peterbot waits, but when you have that much pressure on you, all that spray, it's hard to hold your builds and edit them at the same time. Um, and it's 1v2. And I'm wondering if that was the same player they were just fighting. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know if it was. And again, they're coming back to this old loot that they already got. So even though they used a bunch of loot or a bunch of mats to be able to get a kill, they're now in a new spot where they're max mats uh, to get more loot. And now this guy's, again, same thing as before. You can't, it's a hard thing to try and edit out of a build at the same time as you hold a build. So... Crazy good beam. They get the limb. This team's in the middle of rotating. He jumps on the other one. <laughs> oh, but they do actually get away, don't they? I don't know. Uh, they're in the middle of rotating, so looks like they had to slow down just to reload. They're keying so fast, they haven't even reloaded. Peterbot's in the zone. Poor Astro TB. And Peterbot's holding this guy in zone. Waiting for him to rotate. Absolutely bullying him. What's Poyo doing? Poyo's kind of holding zone, actually. He's sort of like, we should probably get in, huh? Peterbot said, no, this kid's cracked. And he keeps pushing. Using all of his mats. He has 30 builds. That even could be more motivation for him to W key because he needs the refresh. And Poyo's fighting a different team. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Poyo just won't be 2 Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh my, so it's a little bit of a like replay bug, but the wall gets broken. He runs through. It's a 183. He is literally 1v2ing. He sprayed this guy, cracked him for 100, ran in, 183 the, the other guy. And then, wow, I don't even know. And Peterbot's like, what? You have loot? I'm still trying to fight this guy. They're playing as solos. They're not even playing the game. Just spraying and replacing, spraying and replacing, forcing this guy out in his zone. He, he's taking it personally that this guy's running. He does have to slow down, though. He has six builds. Quill brings over some mats. He goes back for the mats. They're 8,000 damage above Surge. Full piece. Dead. Peterbot gets another crack, sprays him down. They're, they're playing 32 players or more. This guy dies as the corner of zone after Peterbot cracks him. It's it, I actually can't watch all of everything that's happening because they're doing so much. They're keying everyone and anything. Now they actually are getting sprayed. Oh, boy, I was getting sprayed. Nice damage. That was such a cute shot. All right, so they do slow down a little bit here. The first time I've seen them stop to reload or do anything. Now they finally start fighting together, actually. And this is great because this is a different version of fighting. This is like type, uh, tarp fighting where one player will spray or they'll both spray and one will, one will hold and replace. Um, and then they won't be to the player that they end up piecing up. Peterbot wants to go for more kills. He doesn't even stop for the refresh. No slowing down. Absolutely no mercy. And you got to feel bad for these guys. Like, come on. This isn't fair. Poyo finds his way back to Peter. And they go for high ground. <laughs> they start instantly challenging high ground. They, Oh my. Poyo gets an instant piece on the, on the one of the players with a cone and a wall. Peter about dropped. Um, only to come back up. To fight Edward the Goon on height. Jumps above him. How is he going to win this? He's literally 1v2ing height. He has 25 builds. That's not a lot. Poyo is chopping them out. They start dropping from height. 
Cracked him and just, just spraying with the SMG is going to get him. Gets the refresh. Speedbot got low on mats. He needs those, those, uh, sweet, sweet succulent mats. Now, oh my God, Chicken Man drops down from height. But the 1v2, uh, solid. Um, oh wait, actually, Poyo goes down. So, if you guys have noticed, I think at this point, Peterbot still gets m six more kills by himself. So they actually did play too aggressive. Uh, a, a, another team starts third partying onto Peterbot, or sorry, sorry, to Poyo, and takes them out. Oh my gosh, what a crazy side jump pump. This is the player who took out uh, Poyo. He was really low already. Um, looks like some teams were padding off a of fight or rifting. Just absolute domination. That's a that's a, a medallion for him too. Oh, he almost had to fall. He almost pulled a lost vampa chat. Now this guy can't do anything. He's just gonna spin in circles. Yeah, there's nothing he can do. So if you guys didn't notice what he was doing there, by the way, if you were a little curious as to what just happened, so basically. Um, this player was gliding down from height and Peter put down all these floors and the way that gliding works is that it will automatically pull and get stuck based on terrain. And so Peter bot created some builds for that player's, uh, glider to get stuck and, and, um, him not be able to pull it and not be able to go down. And that just, you know, free shots for him from that point on now still, this is it. I think for the eliminations, this is the max limbs that they get 43. And that's it. He goes down in, in uh, third place. But 43. They, if you go and look, if they literally qualified off of that, like, just from this game alone. Hold on. Look at the amount of points they had. 124. And then to end it, at the very, very, very end, when they went down, 138. That is... That is only a hundred points off of qualification just from that alone. So that's crazy. 43 kill game. And honestly, if they had played a little bit smarter, um, at the very, very end when they were king, they might've been able to get more limbs. But I mean, how do you know that someone's going to come up from behind you in zone as a solo as well? And they didn't really care. They were just W king for fun. Cause they're just that good. So GG's. Wow. What a VOD review.